All right, guys, before we actually start to program and create our back end, we're going to set up our database. So we're going to be using MLab, which is gives us a remote MongoDB database. And there's a few reasons that we're using this. One is because so many people are on different platforms that, that are taking this course. Um, you know, installing MongoDB is different on Windows or Linux or Mac. Also, people have different configurations and they just you know there's a lot of problems that can arise in a local installation um, so this kind of keeps us all on the same page another reason is we're gonna need a place for our database to live when we deploy our app we can't have a local database and use that in our deployed application um, unless you know you have your own web server and all that but uh, this makes things much easier and it's very reliable it's very fast it's very secure and it's just a service that I highly recommend um, now there is a free sandbox account that's what we'll be using so no credit card info needed nothing like that if you were to create a production application you'd probably want more space um, so you'd probably want to pay something you can up your tier or whatever um, but what you're gonna want to do is just sign up Okay, again, it's completely free, so just fill everything out. I already have an account, so I'm not going to go through that. And then just log in. And once you log in, you'll see a screen like this. If it's a new account, you won't have any deployments here. Now, what you're going to want to do is click on Create New to create a new deployment. You have uh, some options as far as cloud providers. We're going to choose Amazon Web Services, which gives us a free sandbox account. So I'm going to select that and click Continue down at the bottom. Then we're going to choose a region. Uh, I'm in Massachusetts. I'm going to choose US East Virginia. You may have different options depending where you are. I'm not sure. Or, or I don't know. Maybe those are the only two options. And for a database name, I'm just going to call it Dev Connector. Uh, you can call it whatever you'd like. And then it's just going to give us a summary. Everything is free. We're going to click Submit. And once this little key turns green, which should only take a second, then now we have our deployment. OK, so we're going to click on that. And this is basically our panel for our database. It'll show all the collections we have and so on. Now, one thing you're going to have to do if you read right here, it says a database user is required to connect to this database. So could to create one now, click the users tab. So let's do that. And it doesn't mean your your MLab user. It means an actual database user, which you don't have by default. So let's click Add User, and I'm just going to use Brad for the name and the password, and click Create. And now we have a database user. Okay. Now, as far as MLab goes, that's all we have to do. We don't have to manually create our collections. Those that will all happen from within our application. And if you look up here, this is the string that we'll be using to connect. OK, we're just going to have to replace the user and password with our own. In my case, it's Brad, but um, I'm sure you, you probably use something else. Now, if you installed MongoDB locally, you have this same type of string. It's going to be local host, whatever. Um, the, and there's going to be basically no difference in how we write our application, whether you're using MLab or local. The only difference really is going to be this string here. So keep that in mind. It's, 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 uh, it's not going to be different either way, except the string. The way that we connect, the way that we make our queries and all that, everything is the exact same. All right, so now that that's done, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and start to create our backend API.